Hi everyone, we're going to try one more Christmas gnome on a t-shirt. Uh, there was one I didn't film, but you guys wanted to see it. So I'm doing the this one. And yes, it's after Christmas. It is what it is. Um, what do I need? I need? I need a piece of scrap paper so I don't dribble on anything. I need my palette. I'm going to start with actually painting on the shirt first this time and then doing the outline. I think that might work better for me today. We'll see what happens. And I'm actually going to start with white because I want to put down a base of white where I'm going to put colors. My son requested uh, you know, over on my Pinterest page, uh, link link is down below, I think. If not, uh, I will show you. Here, let me show you real quick. Let me log into, oop, come on, turn on. Okay. So over on my, over on my Pinterest page, I had these two uh, inspirations in there under Christmas. I had this one and this one. My son wanted the hat from this one with a Christmas tree. But he didn't like this particular Christmas tree, but he wanted a Christmas tree, something similar. And then he wanted the beard from this one, but instead of these little, he called them beehives, but instead of these little dangly bits like that, he wants Christmas ornaments in the beard. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. So let's zoom back out. So I've already drawn on my tree and then the ornaments he wants different colors and so in order to get the different colors to be more vibrant I'm going to put down white first where the um, where the ornaments are going to go so we're going to give that a try put a little bit of water in here And I have a star for the top of the tree, but my tree is going to be like it. It's too big for the shirt, so it's going to like be falling over. So my star is going to be over here. But in order for yellow to show up, I absolutely 100% have to put white down first. This might once again end up being a two-part video because it's probably going to take me a little while to do this. At least, well, it's going to be over an hour for sure. Because all the other ones have been. Oh, I don't Im imagine that this one's going to take any less time. See how the paint sucks into the fabric? Yeah, I need that to become a base so the yellow doesn't just disappear. Okay, and then wherever I want an ornament, I'm going to put... What? Like that. This doesn't have to be quite as... Cautious, careful. Just a general circle. 
Because if some of the color other, like the red, shows through on the ornament, that's okay. Oh, I want one here. A little bit bigger. I think that's a little small. Something like that. And then there, I decided there is one here. I didn't draw all of them out, but I did draw out the ones up here on the tree hat. I put away the red. I need the red. Gosh darn it. I forgot I need the red. I was going to. I left out the colors I thought I needed. But I forgot I was going to need the red. Most of my Christmas gifts completed at this point. But after I did my t-shirt, both my husband and my son said they wanted one. So back to the thrift store I went, got some more thrifted t-shirts. If you ever want to paint on a t-shirt, a great place to go is to a thrift store get a t-shirt for two bucks perfect because you know then you don't worry about it if you screw up it was only a couple of dollars so you f don't feel like you're ruining a good expensive t-shirt this might have been a nice expensive t-shirt when it was new but now it's been well loved. This is better for for uh, the environment anyway, because you're reusing something that would have normally ended up in a landfill, right? Now I need to do some going this way on the bottom here. Let's see, can I get that further back? Yes, okay. So let's do one here. Like that. And we're going to do one maybe here. And maybe I did draw a general thought process here of sort of a sketch as to where I wanted things. It's here next to me. Do I have to do it exactly? No. Can I do it close? Yeah. Let's do it close. Does my circle have to be an exact circle? No, no, it doesn't. I may need more white. Let's see. And I wanted a couple in this general area.
actually going to overlap these ones, I think. Something like that. And then, yeah, I need more white. More paint. Come on. Come out of the bottle, little. Okay, turn. Close the cap, turn it upside down, shake it a little so it gets closer to the end. Oh, look at there. Uh, is that enough? I don't know. I can always add more. No need to waste it. All right, put a little bit of water in there, get a little more running. There you go. Um, I'm going to put one out here. We're going to put one, I want one about here, can you see any of that? Probably not, I mean can I get it closer, maybe, I want you guys to be able to see most of this. But I know that there's going to be parts that you won't be able to see just because the shirt is bigger than my viewfinder. Um, and then maybe one over here. Like so. And then a couple in here. And maybe one here. I'm just winging it. Playing it by ear here. Way down here. One about here. Couple more, a little bit, a little bit more paint. Okay. Here. Another one here. Should do some that are overlapping. Um, I think here. One more down here. Is 
something like that. Some slightly different sizes. I think that's good. That will work. I'm just going to use up the rest of my white. There's no point in wasting it. If I have it, I'll just put it on the shirt. Right? Use it all up. Okay. That looks good. Alrighty. Wash that out. Get rid of this. I need the red. Which I didn't think I needed, but I do. Because I need it for his news. Just a tiny drop. Mix that up. Get it a little more loosey goosey. And right here is his nose. Just like that. Do I want a little bit bigger? Maybe a little bit bigger. like that. Does that look funny? Yes, it does. Is it going to be better? Yes, it will. Okay. Now, let me clean out that spot on my palette. Because I might need, I might need that hole. i clean that up. Okay. Wash my brush. Clean that off. Okay. So now I'm going to do the greens. I want a darker green and a lighter green. And this is too much heat from my from my electric heater. Okay. and see what they look like on the shirt. Okay. Now, seems a bit dark, but might be all right. I 
I want that as my shadow. It needs to be more wet. Can you guys even see that? Nope, you can't. Uh oh. Did I make a did I make a boo-boo? No. Okay. Just being trying to be careful, but like that. Can you guys see that? Okay. Um, I'm going to go here. We're going to use the other color green too, so it'll look better. This just looks really funky at the moment. I have a vision. Hopefully it will work. singing Christmas carols in my head if I couldn't wouldn't be copyright striked I would put on some tunes but it's not gonna happen right now like that. We'll get the real green in there. That just looks like black on the screen. I know it's not black. I know it's green. But the difference in color from that to what it looks like on there is considerable. Uh, What's your guys' favorite Christmas song now that Christmas is over and you don't hear it day to day? Which which is the Christmas song that you guys miss the most? What would what would be playing in your head if you had Christmas songs rummaging through it? My very favorite is Carol of the Bells. That is my number one top song of the season. Um, the instrumental only version is my favorite. The singing version is okay too, but I really like just the instrumental. Uh, but if I had 
to choose one with singing with words in it I would say Mary Mary did you know or Mary do you know no did you know it's Mary did you know one of my faves So I want to know your, your most favorite and your least favorite. My least favorite, I think, is Santa Baby. I've always found that to be a really weird... Really kind of a weird song. I think one of the most fun songs is uh, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. That's a fun song. Rudolph is also a classic fun song. Silent Night, again, another good song. There, there's just a lot of good Christmas songs. And then there are some... This year on my uh, on my store's uh, music system, um, there were some weird ones I'd never heard before. This year, they weren't they weren't my favorite. <laughs> just just putting it out there, we, they were definitely not my favorite. You know what? This is not the right side of this. I'm going the wrong way on this. I went upwards instead of downwards. Should be the shadow under the branches, not on top. I went the wrong way. It's all right. We will f figure it out. We'll do some on top, some on bottom, and then we'll be very confused. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's his hat on the dark green. Let's put some lighter green in there and see. May have to mix some white in it. Let's see what the lighter green does. Make sure we get lots of water in it. And I need a paper towel because I'm going to make a mess. I feel it. I feel it coming. Where's my little piece of paper that I can use to stick my palette on so I don't get mess on my shirt? Right there. Okay, let's let's give this a go. I need a little bit lighter of a green. It's soaking in quite a bit. So we're going to add just a drop of white in there. I don't want it to be pastel, but I want it to be slightly lighter than what it is. see what that does oh yeah that's better that's what I wanted
okay to leave the red? I think it's okay to leave the red in the middle. I think. But I think I'm going to need more of this green. needs you know, I've got this kind of a lime green maybe I'll use that also as like highlights that'll that'll fill in that'll be good Yeah, I'll definitely do some lime green highlights. I'm going to need more of this green, though. Absolutely. More green. A drop of white. My son's is going to have the most color. Better? Worse? I'm not sure. It's drying down darker than I had hoped. So we're going to put a little bit more here. More water. More water. Sure, I'm going to need the lime green. I was hoping that would be light enough, but that is not light enough. But we'll leave this for the mid-tone. We've already put in our darks. We're going to make that the mid-tone, and then we'll use the lime green for the highlights. Absolutely. I need more water. It needs to be really runny so it soaks in. If you guys are wondering what I'm using, I'm just using Arteza fabric paints. In case you were was or wondering. Somebody's going to ask. I don't know if I've got it listed in my Amazon shop. I got I think I got this fabric paints directly from Arteza, I believe. Don't think I bought them on Amazon, but I could have. I don't recall.
Shall we do a question from our box of questions? Perhaps so. I have to pay attention to what time it is because uh, my camera can only record for an, just under an hour, for like 55 minutes before I have to create a new file. So there's that. I keep keep track of what's going on. But we're good. We're only at 36 minutes. That's good. Okay. This is going to take two two sessions. Um, maybe I'll complete the tree and then turn it off. Turn it back on and do the the beard part. I don't know. We'll see how far I get with the tree. Okay. So far, so good. Let's do a question because I'm have no idea what to talk about. So we're going to go in here to our box, box of cards. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back a video or two. And we're just going to take one off the top. What were the hardest choices you have ever had to make? Um, I think the hardest choice I ever had to make was was the, the very difficult choice of of that we had to put my son into daycare when he was little. That was hard. One of the hardest things I've ever had to do. If we could have afforded for us both to be home, or I mean, one of us to be home full time, uh, yeah, that would have been good, but that wasn't the case. Um, there was a, a good period of time where um, where my husband and I worked, I worked days, he worked nights, so there was always someone home. Um, and that worked great until my husband's uh, company decided to move out of state and we were not willing to pick up and go. Um, It would have meant leaving all of our family and and we made the tough choice to stay um, and not move, which then required us to um, look into daycare, which we'd never had to do before. And those two decisions together were very, very difficult because... We, we could have very easily moved cross country and um, and I wouldn't have we wouldn't have had to do that. Um, and I know hundreds of thousands of millions of people have to do that same make that same choice. Uh, it wasn't our first choice, but it was a choice we had to do, and, and it didn't last very long. That was the good thing, is that it really honestly didn't last that long. Um, it was a short period of time between then and when... when my son was old enough to go to school. So 
Yeah. There was a small period of time where my husband took my son to work with him. Um, but that that was that was not ideal. And yeah. Anyway, that may, that brings up that brings up kind of a sad time in our lives cuz I didn't I didn't like that. It, it not that the well, yeah. We 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 had some issues. We had some difficulties. Thankfully, uh none of those difficulties included any kind of abuse or anything. Uh no you know violence or any kind of thing like that but we did have some personality issues that came about with the daycare provider and then we found a good school for him and that was better found a school that had after school care until one of us could get off of work Okay, that's not too bad. That's kind of what I was looking for. But now we need, I think we need the lime green. Oop, that was the wrong, wrong bucket. I wanted the other bucket. Clean my brush. And let's use, let's use this lime green, this one looks yellow but it's not it's just lime green we're going to use that as our highlights I'm just going to put in the same bucket more water lots and lots of water okay Ooh, that's bright. But on the shirt, I think it'll dry down. Okay. So, what do I do? It does. It does dry down. And my shirt's a little lumpy right there. Too sure why. Something like that. That's better. It needed that bright green. using my other hand to kind of pull on the shirt to kind of straighten it out makes it for a very awkward position here
good. That's good. Something like that. Yeah, that will work. Okay, let's do another card. Have you ever been told you look like someone famous? If so, who? I don't think I ever have. No. Have you ever met any famous people? Who? Um, two. I have met Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Which was an unpleasant interaction. He was not nice. Now, he could have just been going through something. But in my opinion, that if you are someone who has chosen to be a public figure and you're out in public, you, you should be a little more pleasant than what that encounter was. Just, just saying. Um, and then there were the occasional people who, uh, my first job, I was an employee at a mall in a small specialty, um, cookware shop. We, we sold pots and pans and cookware and, you know, fancy knives and tea strainers and expensive stuff, uh, cruette, um, cookware and it was a, it was a bougie place and we didn't get a whole lot of customers but every so often a celebrity would come in and that was cool cuz we were near um we were near a place i don't want to say exactly where we were but we were near a a venue the mall was near a venue where celebrities would sometimes go. And so sometimes they would shop at our mall. And, um, and those were usually fun encounters. Um, most of the kids in the mall, when we were kids, I was, I was, you know, 17, 18 uh, kids. Most of the kids in the mall knew that sometimes you might encounter these few select celebrities, and I'm not even going to say who they were. Just, just for, I know, happened happened in the 70s. It's not like it was nearby, but, um, and most of the time, you know, we were, we were very. It was pre, pre-internet. And the only people who would know that you've even seen or helped these people would be your friends that you told directly. He, there was no um, take a selfie on Instagram. That just, just didn't happen. And so um, and to be honest, most of my friends, when I would say, oh, I saw so-and-so, um, they wouldn't believe me anyway. Yeah, yeah, right, sure. And unless there were 
multiple people who worked at different stores who all say, saw the same celebrity on the same day, most of the time people didn't believe you. Um, so that was kind of fun. But yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna specify though, exactly where, but suffice it to say, it was somewhere in Southern California. How about that? Okay, one hat. I'm going to put a little bit more of this shadow here because it's the underside of the hat. I do want that darker. Just like that. How's my time? Oh, it's terrible. I have to turn off my camera and start it up again. Let's just finish the hat. Or at least this part of the hat. Just like that. A little bit of shadow. Okay. All right, I have to be done. We will move on to the beard. Let this part dry for a little bit. I'll be back. Uh, part two. We're going to do part two on a separate video. So this will be part one. Part two will be uh, coming up shortly. I will try to put it so that this uh, video comes out and then in about an hour-ish from the start of this video, the next one will come out so you can watch them one after the other. Then I, I don't make you wait for another day. That's silly. I don't like it when, when content creators do that. I'm making it all in one day. You can see it all in one day, but it has to be two videos. All right. See you guys in a moment. Bye.